Hello all. Today we are going to move forward towards the third phylum in division Bryophyta, and this phylum is phylum Bryophyta. So today we are going to learn amongst the division Bryophyta the phylum Bryophyta. Okay, because we have already seen about hornworts, nothing but Anthoceratophyta, liverworts, nothing but Marchensiophyta, and today about bryophyta so actually this involves mosses because 90% of the bryophytes they are from phylum bryophyta that's why phylum bryophyta got the name now bryophyta is the formal name of mosses and mostly the body is leafy type of shoot but some are flattened also we have seen rickshia marchensia plant exactly like that some of them might show that type of structure also in the dry environment mostly because these are bryophytes so means shade and moisture loving plant but some of the mosses adjust themselves in the dry environment but in the dry environment they become brown and not metabolically very active but as soon as rain will start again they become green and will become metabolically again active copper moss the copper moss is a specialized moss which is found near the deposits of copper. So if copper moss is there growing in any area, means that area is having more deposits of copper under the soil. Many show asexual reproduction, most of them, through fragmentation. So even if the body is fragmented, every fragment can grow into a new moss. Then, sphagnum is a coiled peat moss okay and this sphagnum has very high water holding capacity and that side is used to improve water holding capacity of the soil so if i will introduce this sphagnum in the soil or its broken parts in the soil okay and then we will water the soil definitely they will hold water for more time general height is 0.2 to 10 centimeter long mostly and they can be dioecious or monoecious. Both can be seen. Sperms are biflagellated. Most of them are having sperms which are biflagellated. Flagellated, reason in bryophytes will require water for reproduction. So the sperms will swim and go up to egg and fertilization can take place. Swimming for that they have two flagella and we, that's why we call them biflagellate. Now, Sporophyte, it takes more time to develop. Generally, four to six months means sporophyte is too slow. And that's why also the sporophyte is completely dependent on gametophyte. And that's why sporophyte is not dominant. Who is dominant? Again, gametophyte. And some species develop fragments to attract pollinators like flies. Pollinators? Are they going to perform pollination? No, actually they want their spores to disperse at much more long distance. So that's actually a way of dispersal of the spores. Okay, now let's take a look of the alternation of generation. Okay, here in bryophytes, the example which we have taken is of polytrichum. Polytrichum is a very common moss. Okay, and in that you can see Okay, here gametophyte plants are, we have shown separate gametophyte plants. <clears throat> this is the male gametophyte plant and this is the female gametophyte plant. Definitely gametophyte means haploite. Up is male gametophyte plant. You can see here at the top develops antheridia. Okay, the whole plant is, complete plant is haploid. Sare cells haploid. But on the top of it, you can see the anthridia is developed, which is also haploid. So definitely, the anthridia will develop sperms by what? By mitosis. Right? Similarly, this is a female plant, and on the top of it, you will find archegonia. You can see morphologically both male and female plants looks same, but there is a minor difference, and that is present at the top. The Archegonia are formed in the female plant, and you can see the structure of Archegonia is different than the Anthridia. Of course, Archegonia 
haploid. So the egg is formed from albumina through mitosis only. Correct? And the egg is also haploid. And most of the mosses they show other than egg some vegetative cells, one or sometimes more. And of course, vegetative cells are also haploid. So when, of course, this plant is a few centimeters long. So due to rain, the water gets filled up. Due to that, the plant will dip in water and this antheridia will burst, releasing the sperms, which are heavy to flagellate, biflagellated. And that's why they will keep on swimming. At the same time, the archegonia will burst for first the vegetative cells. Or other vegetative cells burst for it. So, iske under jo bhi material hai, that will be dispersed in the surrounding water. And that will attract the sperms towards it. Again, what is what has been shown is what chemotaxis. So chemotaxis is seen in most of the bryophytes, especially in mosses, the phylum bryophyta. Okay, and thus the sperms will reach here, and of course, fusion of male and female gamete will take place to form zygote. Zygote is deployed. Because it is formed by union of male and female gametes, so fertilization will take place, correct? But this zygote very slowly and steadily will grow. On archegonia itself, so this plant is on archegonia, and on the archegonia, this zygote will develop. So, this is the developing sporophyte. Of course, as the zygote is deployed, the sporophyte plant which is developing is also deployed, and of course, it is taking nourishment from the archegonia. Means here, here it is developing, okay, and of course it is taking the nourishment from the gametophyte plant, correct? Now, you can see, this is your gametophyte plant, and on the gametophyte plant means completely haploid plant, okay, this one, on this is growing what? Your sporophyte plant, that is the diploid plant, and this is the sporophyte, this is the diploid one, correct? Now, you can observe. This sporophyte consists of mainly two parts. First, a stalk called seta, and which is quite long structure, and second is a capsule present on the top. And this capsule is generally closed. Okay, and this a lid of the capsule, okay, is called operculum. Okay, and this operculum many a times clear open, releasing the spores outside. This is a capsule which showing operculum which is open here but mostly it is it remains closed when it is immature so inside the closed capsule develops spore mother cell again this plant is deployed the spore mother cell is also deployed and spore mother cell meiosis and what it will form is spores the spores are happening and now the spores will later on germinate to form either male or female plant, it's not fixed. A spores male plant and female. Just a humans may it's not confirmed whether which baby will be formed, male or female. It can be anything, but exactly like that. It depends on the environmental conditions. Ke konsa environment hai? Environment mein agar fluctuation ho rahe to wo male plant bana sakta hai ya female plant bana sakta hai. Clear? So male plant or female plant are formed. But during that spores the germinate only. So initially you protonema banate. Protonema is the developing sporophyte. Okay, so developing gametophyte. Sorry. Because the spores are haploid, so the protonema is also haploid and they are going to develop the gametophyte. Of course, a male plant agar bana raha hai. Clear? So a male plant banega usse or female protonema ban raha hai to female plant banega. Correct? Again, male plant will have anthridia and female plant will have archegonia. But Many in many species, this sporophyte is capsule and the seta region is covered through calyptra. Calyptra is an uh, external uh, outing or outer layer, extra layer for protection. But with maturation, the calyptra clear disappeared and allowing the operculum to open and releasing the spores outside. In many species, it has been observed that inside when this operculum will open inside this capsule the teeth like sharp peristone structures are there 
okay they have also been observed correct so this is about what the life cycle and again this is the haploid one correct ye spores formation se haploid shuru ho gaya to ye gametophyte generation hai aapki correct hai and uh, ye spore mother cell aur yahan tak you will have what the sporophyte generation fertilization is the beginning of sporophyte generation एंड स्पोर मदर से जैसा मियोसिस दिखाएगा इट इज द बिगिनिंग ऑफ गवेटोफाइट जनरेशन गवेटोफाइट जनरेशन इज है ब्रायोफाइटा इन डिविजन ब्रायोफाइटा सो हियर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द डिविजन ब्रायोफाइटा ओके डोंट फॉरगेट ब्रायोफाइट आर वॉट नॉन वेस्कुलर वेस्कुलर सिस्टम नहीं है इसीलिए प्लान छोटे क्रिप्टोगैप्स मतलब फ्लावर्स के लिए ओके थैंक यू